Now we can cover some of the basics of formatting your WordPress posts. The majority of your formatting options can be found in the Post Editor toolbar. If you've ever used a word processing software such as Microsoft Word, most of these icons should look familiar. In the first row of the toolbar, we have the option to bold, italicize, or strike through text. So say you'd like to bold some text. Just select the text you'd like to format, then click the Bold button. Now you'll see this text has been bolded. The next two icons are for bulleted and numbered lists. If you'd like to add a list to the post, just select the text and click the icon. The quotation mark icon is the block quote feature. By default, this will add an indentation and italicized style to your selected text. Next are the alignment options. You can choose to align left, center, or align right. And the next two icons are for adding a link and removing a link. Finally, the next icon is the Insert More tag. This will change how much text your blog page will display before the, quote, Read More link appears. If you'd prefer to write your post in a distraction-free mode, click the icon on the right. This will take you to a full-screen writing mode, similar to using a word processing software. To exit out of this mode, we'll click Exit Full Screen. If we click the Toggle Toolbar, another line of formatting options will be revealed. Here you can add heading styles to your text, underlying text, or even set a full alignment. If you decide you'd like to change the color of the selected text, just select the text and drop down from this icon and choose the color. The next two icons are for pasting text, either as plain text or from cleaning up formatting that might be brought over from a non-web focused word processor like Microsoft Word. There are additional icons like inserting symbols, adjusting the indentation level, and an undo and redo button, along with a helpful keyboard short code list, shortcut list. And if you're ever stuck using your formatting icons, you can simply hover over the icons to see the name and its function.